So we're here um, in our nettle patch and uh, nettles are one of our favorite vegetables but they're also a vegetable that spreads a lot on its own and of course they sting. So it's actually a uh, semi-cultivated patch of nettles. It's, uh, it was a wild patch and now we're caring for it a bit to make harvesting easier. Uh, we cut down the old stalks and we try to uh, keep keep the stand healthy so that the uh, grass doesn't encroach too much and uh, the methods that we use it's really nice if the grass isn't really thick mixed in with nettles or other plants for that matter. So, nettles are one of our favorite winter vegetables also so today what we're actually going to be harvesting is a what we call, like to call human hay so it's dried leaves dried nettle leaves um, and we're going to process them into something that we can easily use in dishes in the winter. And uh, it's May, and it's actually the, probably the best time to harvest. The nettles are tall, but they haven't gone into flowering stage yet. So they're the, at the biggest stage, easiest to harvest a lot in quantity, um, but still really high quality. And uh, the method we use, we do with a, a sickle. This is a Japanese sickle, you can use any kind. Um, or if you don't have a sickle, of course, an uh, ordinary pair of uh, scissors, preferably a little bit heavier duty scissors, are uh, really good for this job. And, uh, and of course, a collecting basket of some kind could be a bucket, basket, bag. Uh, baskets are nice because you can carry them around easily. So we're going to get into it, start harvesting. So I'm looking for patches that have really good nettles here. And then with the sickle, I can actually gather a bunch together like that. It's maybe even up to 10 plants together. And then with my other hand, collect like that and then harvest. And then I have a whole, a whole bunch of nettles in one swipe. And it's a really quick way to gather in quantity. What we're going for is the, uh, the shoots on the top. So it's not just the leaves themselves, but the, the whole new growing tips um, with a few leaves attached. That's what, that's what we're aiming for. Um, there can be a bit of stock with it um, because we're going to uh, make a powder and the stalks will get separated. Um, nettles are one of the most nutritious vegetables. They are really high in protein and calcium and a lot of other stuff iron um, and they're just really delicious so most people that that uh, that taste them like them they like the flavor of them so they're something you can eat in in bulk they're relatively mild and uh, just really tasty also also freshly cooked um, but uh, dry in the dried form we can we can use actually quite a lot uh, in the course of a winter so So we dry a lot of nettles, so it really helps to have some 
some sort of trays that you can stack up so it doesn't take as much space. And uh, it can be something like this with wood and uh, chicken wire, or it can be plastic trays that stack, or, or whatever you have on hand. Um, if you don't have a tray, you can just use uh, a bed sheet or some kind of cloth that you lay them out on. Um, but if you're going to do large quantities, which we do, uh, it's really nice to have something that stacks. So the important thing is that there's some airflow so that the uh, moisture can come out of them. Nettles are one of the easiest leaves to dry. That's a green, green leaf plants to dry because there's actually not a lot of moisture in them to start with. Um, they're relatively dry compared to other plants. So um, we just uh, use these and uh, pile the nettles on. It's important to kind of shake them a bit so there's a bit of air between them, a little bit of flow. Um, and uh, we usually do a layer about like about like this. And then they should just be uh, and then they should just be turned every day for about two or three days until they've actually gotten a bit of dryness and then they can be left to dry after that up for some days. tray of uh, human hay ready to go. So it's important that whenever drying any plant material like leaves or flowers that it's uh, dried in a dark place. Um, the sun will quickly ruin the nutritional quality and the taste of anything that's dried in the sun. So. We have them all stacked up here in our woodshed um, because it's dark and because uh, there's a bit of airflow. And uh, it's pretty warm right now, so it'll actually dry pretty quick. And here are some we did just uh, last week. They're already pretty dry. And not quite dry enough to powder, so they'll, they'll stand another week or two until they're fully dry. staying a couple weeks later after our racks of nettles here um, and our, it's pretty dry so they've been sitting here in our woodshed where there's a uh, pretty good airflow and it's uh, quite dark in here so they haven't gotten any direct sunlight and uh, now they're ready for garbling which is uh, a word that means basically shredding them so they're quickly, easily usable in food. So this is our, our winter supply coming up. So we're taking a a big handful of these dried nettles and we're going to rub them on this uh, screen here and it's about a uh, seven eight millimeter uh, square screen and uh, it's basically works a bit like a cheese grater so we're just kind of lightly rubbing them um, and it, it shreds all the all the leaf particles and it leaves the stems mostly um, out um, and so the stems will be uh, sorted out into this basket and we'll have just the good food elements left for us. So. And we just take a clump like this and, and start rubbing it.
So that's what's left, and it's uh, basically all the, the woody fibrous stems that are left uh, on the screen. And uh, all the nice leaves have gone through the screen. So we'll take that out and get ready for the next tray. It's quite a fast way to process dried nettles. Um, if you're going to do a large amount. It's a very, very fast way to make a lot of dried nettles. Um, you can use it also for herb teas. Um, and just have a look at uh, how much we've got now. There's, uh, I don't know how much this weighs, of course, it's quite dry. But it's uh, definitely a good quantity. So this is something we'll use in the winter, uh, putting in soups and putting in rice when we cook rice um, and eggs in a lot of different dishes. There's a few a few small stems left, but actually it's pretty pretty clean here. Um, so it's pretty much ready. We store this in uh, in cloth bags so that there's some airflow, and so they, the nettles can breathe, and so they don't get moldy. If you store them in plastic, then you have to be really careful uh, to make sure that the that they have a really low um, moisture content before you put them in plastic. Thank you. 